Good morning, everybody. We're at the Southeast Truck Show today. Morning, Diesel. Morning, Chevy. Let's go outside. Morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. I'm still alive. <laughs> been home one week now. My truck has been in the shop. It's been getting its annual safety done. It's been getting serviced. It's been getting a few gremlins worked out of it. And the electronics under the hood. Just something to do with my gauges that they're not, they weren't connecting at times. Sometimes they'd go all the way down and then they'd pop back up. So I'm getting them to look at that, fix that. And my turbo was making a little bit of a funny sound at low RPMs. Just getting them to check on that. It sounded like there may be a leak somewhere and I couldn't find it. So it's in there for quite a few things. And once that's all done, it's getting its annual polish. So I guess I've been on vacation this past week and I haven't been filming for the last week. But I'm doing fine. We're here at home, enjoying our time off, been taking care of the yard. I mowed the yard once already. Clearly it already needs it again. That's how long I've been home. I'm gonna be home a couple more days yet. This coming Saturday, there's a truck show, the Southeast Truck Show in Steinbach, Manitoba, uh, it's beside Canadian Tire, if you're familiar with the area. I'm going to be there. And I want to spend the day there. I know a lot of you will be there as well, and my family and friends. So it'll be a good family outing day. There'll be bouncy castles there for the kids, and trucks for the grown-ups, and there's going to be music, concert, food. It's going to be a good time. I'll bring my camera along for that day. Don't worry. We'll film it. You want to go for a swing, Diesel? Should I lift you up in there? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm just chilling, just hanging out. Old man, too old for the twings, man. Diesel, you're never too old to have fun. Oh, little Chevy. Our fence is getting done next month. That'll be nice. It'll be uh, just like this fence over here. Just all the way across there, and this temporary fence will be gone then. I removed this tree in the back of the yard now. It was dead. I can see why. This is very moist soil back here in the spring. Kind of a lower lying spot, I guess. And it had flooded. It's all dried out now. Not quite dried out, but drained out. But it was dead when we bought the place, so. There's what's left of it right there. That's the tree. We're going to plant a new one in its place, one that's more uh, durable in moist conditions, or durable, one that's used to moist conditions. We'll see what our local nurseries advise us.
Oh, this is one of those new 589s. Look at this. It's got the sloped windshield. That's interesting. I've never seen one of these up close yet. Look at that hood. It's a lot wider. Peterbilt, what have you done? Look at this door. That was a good day. That was a good day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the trucks that I showed you that were there. Um, we had a pretty good turnout. We had a bigger turnout last year uh, for people. So guys remember, this Southeast Truck Show happens annually. It's a charity event for the local area here. So don't forget next year, I'm guessing probably around the same time, first Saturday in June or something. Uh, we had this truck show here. So the truck show is obviously over and I'm running out to get some supper for my family. I'm going to bring it home. We're getting Prairie Donaire. Have you guys ever tried it? It's a local uh, restaurant here in Steinbeck. 
is wonderful. We're gonna get some uh, some food together here. Gonna go home, enjoy the day. I've had a week off, over a week off already, and I know I haven't been posting a lot. I appreciate you guys being patient. Uh, we're getting back on the road on Monday, and today is Saturday. So tomorrow, maybe I'll make a video. We're planting a family tree in our backyard. Uh, it's a weeping willow. And it's supposed to be our tree signifying us moving into our forever home, our family home. Because we want this home to be uh, our child, our children's childhood home, right? And uh, so we're planting a tree to watch the tree grow as our family grows. Maybe I'll make a video about that tomorrow. Tune in. It'd be great to hang out with you guys a bit. It's not all about trucking on my channel, you know. Sometimes we uh, do some other stuff <laughs> for a while. I'm not just a trucker, I'm also a father. I'm also a husband. I'm a brother and I'm a son. There's so much more to my life than just driving a truck. Though, that does take up the majority of my, my time and I'm sure all of you can understand that because work takes up the majority of your time too, right? We all have to work, we all have to make it in this crazy world that we live in. So I'm here, look at this, at the mall in Steinbeck, and that is Prairie Donaire right there. Ah, oh, window, come on, focus, buddy. Focus, there it is, Prairie Donaire. If you haven't tried it before, give it a shot. They don't know I'm giving them a little promotion right now, so a little bit of local promotion. And Barbarito right beside them, both amazing restaurants. I would uh, highly recommend either of them. They're probably looking out their windows right now, seeing me point my big camera at them, wondering, why is he pointing a camera at my business? Well, it's to give you a little bit of local publicity. I like to support local as much as I can. Obviously, you know, there's, it's a global economy we live in. Can't always just support local. Most of the stuff I own was made in China. But the few things that I can promote that were made right here, I'll, I'll promote them. Because uh, wherever you live, if you don't live in Steinbeck here, if you don't even live in Canada, maybe you live in the UK, you live in Australia, New Zealand, or you live in uh, the US somewhere, I would strongly, strongly uh, recommend that you support your local businesses in town, especially the restaurants, the small ma and pa shops, you know, the ones that uh, might be struggling to make it by. Make sure you go and eat there, support there. Um, they're the ones that make up your local community. So, for the raffles today, I entered us in. I bought some raffle tickets to support our local community and charities. I got this. Can you see it? Uh, it's a Starfret electric pressure cooker. I haven't told Britt yet that I won this. I'm looking forward to surprising her when I get home. And also, along with this came this uh, cookbook. You see it? Oh, the lighting is terrible. But I won that as well. Last year I won a whole bunch of prizes. I only won this one this year. But uh, it also came with a uh, gift certificate to a three hour cleaning, which I've got to look into a little bit more. I think that might be a house cleaning. So that's pretty cool. I hope to see you there at the Southeast Truck Show next year. And like I was telling you just a few clips ago, I'm hoping to be able to sponsor it as well. I think that would be pretty cool to be involved in the local community like that. Ta-da! Back in my truck. Trucker Josh of the future finishing up this vlog for you. So, it was a great day. Uh, I didn't film too much throughout the day. I, enjoy I enjoyed the day. I created a little video montage for you. Um, a lot of good working trucks there. It's a working truck show. Well, it's, it's for it's a fundraiser. It's for charity. I want to be more involved in the local community. This is my home. This is where I, I grew up, right? And there's a lot of truckers. Old school truckers. In every good sense of the term in my area. And I love it. I think we should be involved next year. Um, we'll talk about it more as the time gets closer next year but maybe we can do our own little fundraising drive for this 
maybe I can get you guys more involved in it if you if you want to be. But but also remember, there's another fundraising event, another truck show coming up in July, July 26th. There's the truck show at PBX coming up. That's another fundraiser. So if this is going to be two annual truck shows in my local area, we're going to have to split our fundraising between the two. We're going to have to do one for both. Okay, I got to wrap this up. I got to put this all together so you can watch it. Thanks for being patient over this last week as I haven't been posting any long format videos. I have been doing short format. Have you guys been paying attention? I've been giving you a little bit of a sneak peek into the next week's videos. Should I keep doing that too? I kind of like it, you know? A little bit of a sneak peek. Uh, I post that at the end of my day. Always trying new things, right? I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Please be safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow.